them all on my own? such weak targets.
on, quick. We're setting sail. All aboard! We've wasted too much time. We have to get to Maya and find the rest of the elementals. Hmm? What is that? Don't worry. This is Fairy. She's from the Sanctuary of Mana. It's a long story, but she's sort of haunting me while we look for the Mana Stones and the elementals that protect them. I see. <laughs> Then you must be the one the Priest of Light mentioned. I was looking for the people traveling with Fairy when I was caught by the Beastmen. You must have a story too, right? Some reason to make this journey? So spill. My story's a little involved, but here's the gist. Where there is light, there must also be dark. So the thieves of Navarro lived in the shadows of the world. Going in. Get ready. My money. <laughs> My. Like taking candy from a baby. Ah, a thief! No, not my money! <sighs> yeah, to make this complicated. Now that I have your undivided attention, let me give you some advice. You've made a killing swindling the people living hand to mouth in this town. Now's your chance to put yourself in their shoes. Maybe you'll think twice about your dirty business practices now that you're the one who's lost all his money, huh? You should thank me, really. That's rich, coming from a common thief. How dare you! <laughs> Touché. But something tells me you'll get over it. Farewell. Try breaking a sweat with an honest day's work for a change.
Navarlan thieves were known to sweep through towns, stealing ill-gotten goods from the undeserving rich. While their leader, Flamecon, held down the remote desert fortress in the sand dunes. Turn from the raid, sir. Well done. Oh, you haven't heard. Lord Fla Forgive me. King Flamecon has disbanded the Thieves' Guild and declared Navarre an independent nation under his rule. We're wasting away in this forsaken desert. Mana power is shifting. And threatening our place in the world, our people's resources, like the waters of the oasis, are drying up. We'll lay siege to the kingdom of Laurent in the north and create the Navarre Nation. Now, His Majesty has a meeting to attend, so you just sit. Flamecon thinking. He's never been ashamed of our thievery before. How can we give up our entire livelihood, our creed? And for what? <sighs> what is going on? And there's something strange about that, Isabella. I know she saved the Lord's life when he was stranded in the desert, but making her second in command? What's her angle? I'm sure my father has the people's interests at heart, Hawkeye. If the wells we all depend on go dry, we can't live here forever. So... But a king? Flamecon hates monarchies. So now we're going to bleed the citizens of our new nation dry to fill the king's pockets just like our enemies do? How will we be any different from them? Stop insulting my father! Oh, what? Did you want to play the part of the pretty little princess, Jessica? Stop!
Hawkeye, there's something bothering me. By now I'm sure you've heard about the invasion of Laron. Have you noticed anything strange about my father lately? That's exactly what I thought. We two have grown up together here in the fortress, so I knew you must have noticed it as well. I knew it. He hasn't truly been himself since he went missing in the dunes last month. Fortunately, that newcomer Isabella found him before he... But I swear, nothing has been the same since. If my hunch is correct, Isabella may be at the root of the problem. But no more. I will expose her for the evildoer she is. Get me a break, Eagle. Don't rush on ahead. Something's got me on edge. I better go after him. Vigilant. Huh? We'll surround them. I'll go to the other side. Understood. Do pass on my message. Hold, fiend! We have you now. Whom have you snuck into the fortress? And what have you done to my father? We'll continue when pests are taken care of. I leave them to you. <laughs> oh! You children will find out there are things better left unseen in the world. But no matter. I will have you forget my little secret. Just like Flame Con. Stop manipulating my father! I'll throw you out of this fortress myself! <laughs> what an innocent babe. It hurts! What's wrong? You have to run, Hawkeye. Must eliminate Hawkeye. No, this isn't you, Eagle. Fight it. Oh dear. He can't hear you now. What will you do? Attack your friend or perish on his blade. you Eagle stay with me uh, Hawkeye you you did the right thing huh. still alive I see oh. allow me to fix that Child. <gasps> Someone, come quick. The man's a murderer. 
What's the problem? No. Not Eagle. How could you? Don't move! No! It wasn't me! I would never! Let me out! Murder is no laughing matter. Your execution date is being decided. I suggest you reflect on your crimes while you wait. <laughs> oh, best be quiet, dear. If you tell anyone, your friend Jessica's life is forfeit. What have you done to her? Oh, I just gave her a cursed little present, if you will. If you step out of line, you may not like the consequences. <laughs> Let me out! Versus. Is someone there? Anyone? Jessica. My brother, Eagle, he, they're saying you did it. But that can't be. No one was closer to my brother than you. You couldn't have. So tell me, who killed my brother? I... Talk, and, and her, her life, life is forfeit. forfeit. Please... Tell me, who was it? <laughs> Hawkeye! Why won't you say anything? No... Jessica! I believe Mew! I know Mew are framed! Come on! We need to get away from here as soon as possible! Ah! Now quick! Through this hole! Isabella will pay, but I can't stick around to Varl any longer. Cursed purr, as and Mew mentioned, I think it's the legendary Choker at Death. If the stories are true, once Mew put it on, Mew can never take it off. And if Isabella dies, Jessica will die with her. But the Purrist of Light in Holy City Wendell might have some leads. Mew should leave Navarro and find the Purrist. <laughs> I'll take care of things here. What? Okay. I trust you, Niccolo. Take care of Jessica while I'm gone. Hey, you take care of me yourself. Don't worry, I'll look after Jessica. <laughs> the prisoner's loose! Stop him! Ha <laughs> ha! 
I swear on my life that I won't let anything happen to Jessica. I have to leave now, but... I will be back to avenge your death, dearest friend. And I will save your sister. Jessica, you have to stay safe until I return. Please be safe. Hawkeye, pained by the loss of his dear friend, set off for Wendell to find a way to lift Jessica's curse. Barry, answer me this. If I go with you, I can save Jessica? Of course. The goddess of mana should be able to undo any magical curse once she reawakens. She can definitely help. All right. Then I'm in. Let's see this through. Jad, but I've been running around blindly ever since. Why don't you ask around town for ideas? Sounds like a good idea to me. I could use some new gear. Let's look at. I could use some new gear. Let's look in the shops while we're at it.
welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. Good choice. I have an eye for quality. Looks useful. <laughs> Come again. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. I have an eye for quality. <laughs> Come again. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Good choice. Do you come again. Do you come again. <laughs> come again. Bon voyage, and you are? Oh, never mind. It hardly matters. You simply must see my invention. Wait for me in the backyard. only one easy way to Valsena from Maya, and that's the bridge. It's down the treacherous golden road, and it's full of monsters. <laughs> Hardly an effective or safe travel route. However, behold, with my new deluxe super cannon, you can reach it at one blast. It's the latest model, and I'm almost done. So, what do you think? escape Jack, but I heard rumors before we left that the Priest of Light risked his life to put a barrier around Wendell to repel the Beastman. It made his eminence fall so dangerously ill. He collapsed. They say a young priest named Heath is the only one in Wendell who can cure the deadly sickness. No one knows where he is. This could be bad.
wouldn't go back to Valsena until I defeated that Crimson Wizard. Now I gotta go back without even changing my class.
Before I break it.
Princess Angela, you are charged with treason and sentenced to death by Her Majesty the True Queen. What? Why? What did I do? Wait. What are you doing? Whoa, that sounds like an overreaction. Silence you. You are all enemies of the kingdom. Hey! Bring out those magic devices! We'll trap them on the bridge! Not bad. 
This is my fault. No kidding! Leave it to Altanish mages to mess everything up. Uh, well, maybe you should have just collapsed right along with that bridge. Come on, people. Take a deep breath. Answer me this, though. What would Altanish mages be doing here? Altena is preparing to invade other kingdoms to search for the Mana Stones. If the mages are here, we can bet there's a Mana Stone nearby. We need to find the Hero King as soon as possible, and ask him where the stone and its elemental are. But... Ugh. How are we supposed to get to Valsena without a bridge? 